What up, it's your girl Minna, and in this video I'm gonna be trying out a full face, I hope it's a full face, it should be, of new products, much of which I've gotten in PR, which I'm very grateful about, and some things that I purchased on my own, so I'm very excited to show you these products. I've always wanted to do a video like this, but I haven't always had such a large sum of new products, and obviously PR is a huge blessing. So I'm very grateful for all the brands that continue to send me things. But if you're excited, I want you to give the video a thumbs up and also make sure you are subscribed. Let's go. Hopefully you have caught yourselves up with my most recent videos, like the studio tour. I get a lot of questions on the camera I use and all of that. Okay, my face is looking very dewy because I have done my skincare routine. We already know what that's about, okay? Skincare videos on IGTV and on YouTube, okay? I already have on SPF with my moisturizer, so I'm not gonna put that on right now. I do wanna, ooh, what does this one do? Okay, this is the Farsali Skin Tune Blur. I've never had this until now. I actually got this on a huge discount through, actually, no, wait, I got one of these in PR, and then I got one of these on a huge discount through BoxyCharm, so this is awesome. This is blurring and tuning. What does that mean? A blurring and tuning serum after moisturizer. So what is it supposed to do? Is it gonna make me dewy? It's not gonna make me matte, because it doesn't say that. Do you have this? Have you used it? Do you like it? I always see people do this. And, oop, that ain't even nearly, oop, is this a little clumpy? That ain't nearly enough product. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. I gotta get more, right? Is this thing, what is going on? Is it like, why is this so clumpy? Okay, there's a clump in the, oop, what in, the world that's standing in the way i gotta get some on my foot oh uh huh not enough on this side but here we are i'm gonna do more patting than rubbing just because i have on um, a lot of skincare products sometimes your primer can interact with it in a bad way and then your skincare is all crumbly and foolish looking okay so here's this that is so annoying oh okay so i didn't get any on my nose okay this is just not going well right now that or what so some of the shine is definitely gone let me get on my eyebrows get this shine down let me just go right here. <laughs> Get the middle of the shine. The shine in the middle down, you know what I'm saying? This is the foundation stick from Benefit Cosmetics, set in PR. This is the color 12. It's a Hello Happy Air Stick Foundation, SPF 20. It's $32. It's for normal dry combination oily skin, so it's for everybody. Oh God, it has a natural finish. That ain't what I like. It has light to medium. Ooh, no. I might need to put on two different foundations because I don't like light to medium. I like full. Okay, let's see how light to medium this is. Oh, this is a good color. Uh, let me start off with the chin and see what's going on. I'm already concerned because I don't do light and dewy. It's a little orange. It has some fragrance in it. Or is it the Skin Tune Blur that has the fragrance? Oh, I don't know about this. Yeah, it's medium coverage. I can deal. I can deal with this. Obviously, the great thing is that I don't have nearly as many blemishes on my face as I used to several months ago. So there aren't many blemishes to cover up. And perhaps that's why I've always liked full coverage makeup. I've needed it to cover my blemishes without me having to color correct. And now that I don't have as many, I suppose this is okay. Wow, okay. I am gonna wear eyeshadow and there's no need to go over the eyelid if I'm going to put eyeshadow on. I don't wear a stick foundation, but this is cool. I mean, I can dig this if you're a light, medium coverage kind of girl. I can dig it. Okay, so from the same brand, we have the Cakeless Concealer. This is Boing, it looks like a pencil, I love that. Boing, is it called Boing? Boing? <laughs> Cakeless Concealer is $22. It's multi-purpose, full coverage liquid concealer that hides all from dark circles to blemishes. Let's see if this is true. I hope this color is good for me. This is number nine. Number nine, this looks kinda, ooh, this is light. This is light, but let's see. Do they say it's full coverage? Yes, full coverage. Okay, I wonder if it dries fast. Really fast. Okay, I'm gonna just stop right there and blend this in. This is definitely <laughs> lighter than I like. This is the kind of color that I would put on top of another concealer because by itself it is far too light. Like, okay, uh, we're here. So I'm going to stick with it and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna fix it. I don't wanna put another concealer on, I just wanna fix it and show you. So it's going to look very light right now, but just sit down and relax. Just relax, okay? Hello, highlight. <laughs> Okay, so when it comes to contour, I just realized that I don't have a new contour. I'm gonna stick with my JP Congo Stick Foundation, okay? And hoping that this helps to warm up the face because what's going on right now? 
is a little bit concerning, you know, just a smidge. <laughs> So as I'm doing this, it's not an entire phase of new product. It's like kind of sort of, you know, the powder is obviously old and the setting powder as well. The setting powder was the e.l.f. tan setting powder and then face powder was the Sephora Micro Smooth one. Boom. Now when it comes to eyebrows, I do have new products to try. I have the Benefit brow situation, but I had a meeting with them online and they said that that's something you put on before makeup and that's not how I do my face. So I'm gonna leave that to a different day, but I am gonna use the Fenty. This is Fenty Beauty Brow MVP Ultra Fine Brow Pencil and the color is what? Soft black. Yes, because I like my brows to be very dark. Now I really could leave it like this. Like I was pressing the brow pencil into my skin to really get that pigment to stand out. I really could leave it like this, but I am gonna put a little bit of black. Literally, this is a black lip liner or eyeliner, whatever it is, it doesn't matter, same thing. And I'm putting it on the end to just darken the tips a little bit. It makes a very subtle difference. And I'm gonna brush that in literally the color black that's because i shaved the tip of my brow off on purpose so that i can create a higher brow arch that's just what i like to do and now we just blend it a little and then boom see just looks a little bit better and then the other fancy product is this one this is the brow mvp sculpt and brow wax pencil in styler so putting it on afterward is really cool gives you that soap brow situation. It just really makes the brow hairs lay flat on your face. And I love to see the difference just by looking to the side. And my hairs are mostly flat on my face. So this is not a must, but it's just cute to do. Pressing it in, you gotta be careful so you don't take off the actual brow product. But yeah, it's just a little cute touch. Kind of lightens up the color of the brow too. It takes off some of the product. <laughs> now, this is way too light to put under my brow, so I'm gonna get something else to put under my brow, highlight that, and then we're gonna do the eyes. I got the Natasha Denona palette and I have, I have a few, right? One is Natasha Denona and the one is Artist Couture Supreme Nudes. <laughs> Natasha Denona. Okay, we do have some crease colors in here. I can do a full eye with Natasha and then leave Artist Couture for another day. Let me look at Artist Couture one more time. Yeah, kind of the same, but not as warm. The only warm color I see in here is right here. This is my first Natasha Denona palette. I know she is a lot of money, <laughs> so let's fix $65. Wow, praise God this came in PR. Palette, $65, okay. What I like is it's got some warm colors in it. And we have shimmers, obviously. The black is a shimmer. It looks so much like a matte. It looks different than regular mattes. It's, it's buttery. It's a buttery matte. Interesting. That's a plum, but it looks black. All right, so transition color. All right, brush video. I already have one Amazon brush set that I reviewed and love. That's on my YouTube channel. So make sure you look at that. But I have an assortment of brushes that I'm using. So I'm going to start off with suntan first, and then I'm going to use magma. You got fallout, but that is common. I'm just saying this is $65. So are you expecting no fallout? Perhaps. We're almost at $100, you know what I'm saying? But we got fallout, okay. Putting this in the crease. I did a video on makeup terminology, so make sure you watch that video. Breaks down all of the terminology like the crease, like the transition color, like the lid color, and, that, and all those things. So if you're unfamiliar, still confused, about all of that make sure you watch that video now i need to use a brush that's not as fluffy i'm gonna take magma mauvey brown okay this is pretty mauvey brown right here in the crease this color right here is sundown i'm taking that gleaming gloaming what does that mean gloaming okay this is the color gloaming <laughs> putting that right here Okay, that's the color Gloaming, and that looks really gorge. And then on the inner eye, let's see, something light. I don't wanna use true, ooh, silk looks beautiful. Ooh, let's do silk. Now I'm gonna switch to my pinky to be able to get in the corner of that. These colors are buttery, wow. All right, now when it comes to the that color deep dive, that color that I thought was black, but it's not black, I'm gonna put that on my outer crease. I'm putting it in small sections so it doesn't go too wild. So I placed it there, and now I'm blending it out. I'm taking more of Magma, which is a burnt reddish brown 
to help blend this out so it can look smoother. These colors are definitely buttery. I could bring that into my nose more, but I wanna leave it. Oh, just kidding, I don't wanna leave it. It looks odd, so let's bring this up. Ooh, now that's in my brow, and that's actually okay. Pushing that into the brow like a plant. All right, these are some really creamy colors. When I was a makeup artist, mature skin, you always wanted to use cream shadows on them because it just looked better. It was hydrating, less of a potential for the creasing of the eye to make the eye look dry and, and ridiculous. So this would be a palette that if I were taking clients, I would want to use on mature skin, although they're creams and I don't know, I guess you would spray it with, with alcohol anyway but this is like i love these shadows they're creamy the thing about it though is they take a little more elbow grease to blend them out because they're cream so you put it on and it's like oh i need to really work this into the skin it's not like it took me ages to do it but it definitely is worth noting because they're well at least the shimmers this black purple something whatever you call this color deep dive did take some elbow grease and it i think it's like a shimmer i don't know how you call it but and now for mascara you know my top lashes i've normally been using this tarte big ego or whatever i have over there but I, I have a fenty mascara and i also have this one from urban decay lash freak i want to try this out all right and now i have used this already it's not a first impression i have used it and i really liked it i was shocked at how great it worked it's like what do I have a new fave for my bottom lashes? I don't know. Because on the bottom, you know, I love to use It Cosmetics because it really elongates my lashes. But I use this. So I am going to put on falsies. You know that already. But this is pretty cool. Do you notice the difference? What do you think? Have you tried this, this mascara out? If you have, what do you think about it? Comment and let me know. All right. And now you know what I do. I take my face powder, which is the Sephora Micro Smooth and Deep. What? What is this? Deep? ebony deep something yeah deep ebony or i think deep and ebony is the same thing <laughs> whatever put this everywhere all over my face on top of my highlight and contour you know really ties the look in okay so there's that and let's see we're gonna bring the colors down i like to do that that's just what i do all right and then now the highlight this one is new this is by aether aether beauty Aether, not sure. It's a Supernova Crushed Diamond Highlighter. It's very diamond, like the Fenty, one of the Fenty ones. I'm gonna try and go soft with this and see. It's very yellow. Ooh, yes, very yellow. Cleaning off my brush to then blend this in. Wowzers, okay. Gotta go easy with this. Uh, all right, I feel like this should be an eyeshadow. Wow, it's very gold. <laughs> Wowzers. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this and put it in my inner eye because I haven't done that yet. This is very yellow. I don't know about this for the face. This is yellow. Is it Kilowa? I don't know. The Fenty one? This is very yellow. Wow. Clearly it does work, right? Like that's, we're not questioning that. Okay, nothing came off. So I'm gonna go into it very lightly because very subtle. I'm not even gonna do the forehead. This stuff is pigmented and very yellow. Hush. Okay, so I was on a virtual makeup class with Patrick Ta and he talked about this blush situation. This is Patrick Ta Double Cleanse Take Cream and Powder Blush. Now, even though the face was done, like the base foundation was done, he did it in a way that was just so unconventional that I was like, what? I think he did the powder and then the cream on top because he said he liked for it to look like glass, like just blended in. Okay powder first and this is really cute and fancy it has a cover for the cream part and you open it up because it's cream hello and a little mirror inside that's cute it's very light focusing it on the front of the cheeks this will show on lighter skin a lot easier than mine it's there but i don't really see it you know the like rose gold all of it is really beautiful but it's not showing up on me like i would prefer it's very soft Ooh. Okay, I can see. I like how it makes the face look wet. Like his model's face was wet looking. He had this other product that he put on her over here and whoa, she was glowing. Again, the color of the blush is just really soft. And I normally like to really see my blush, but I get it. Like, I guess I will keep this. I don't know. Because my eye is so bold, I really want to see my blush bold. I don't want soft blush. I want, so that's what's making me feel like, I don't know about this. But if I did a natural eye, this could be something. Like we could be together. We could be a, a pair. 
it's time for the lip. What are we doing for a lip? Uh, I do have these Coco Inspire Maybelline Super Ink Lip Lippies. So this is the color Coco. These do smell really, really good. This does look extremely red, which is extremely concerning. Once I ombre it, you're barely gonna see this. And then this is the color Hazelnut in the middle. It looks like I have on red and pink, and that's not even what this is. I'm, I'm really into it. It really took the look to a whole nother level because I was a little concerned about the foolishness. I love how the eye look came out. You gotta comment and let me know what you think about this eye look. But I like how it came out. I rarely put a light color in my waterline. And let me tell you what it was. LA Girl Ultimate Intense Day Auto Liner in the color Super Bright. I really have to do it more often because I like how it makes the eye pop. I still cannot get over this blush. I'm giving it away. I can't take it. I can't take how natural it looks. I like to see my blush on my face. Even when I do a natural look, I wanna see my blush. And the fact that this is this light pink glowy situation is killing me. It's killing me, it's not working. It's beautiful, it's giving me that wet look that he displayed on that masterclass. Like it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's just not for me. The eyeshadow palette, I mean, it is $65. Like that I can't get over. It's very, very expensive. We're not gonna lie about that. The, the shadow colors are beautiful beautiful, creamy, they're gorgeous. Brow product, I've used a few times before and I like it, you know, that whole wax thing is really cute. Because the lip, of course, I have some of the other colors and now I like this reddish pinkish concoction so I'm gonna be doing this on different looks. I like it a lot. The thing about these Superstay Matte Inks is that they don't dry down completely. Now, they don't move. I mean, I use my cleansing balm to get my makeup off and these things like don't move, okay? They don't move, which is a pro and a con. They aren't matte like powdery so it makes it comfortable if you want a matte lip that's gonna stay on all day this is gonna be great but if you're looking for it to dry down to the point where you go like this and it's dry this is not gonna be it it has a little slight tinge of a stick it's not a stick but you know it's not powdery okay it feels comfortable so I like it just letting you know. The highlight, Lord have mercy, this thing is beaming. I'm gonna just keep on using it for my inner eye, maybe every now and then on the face, but it is beaming, okay? Like too much for me. And it's very yellow. When I use my face highlights, I prefer more of a silver gold, but you know. This was cute, it's cute. It's just very yellow, <laughs> like my shirt, you know? I hope that you enjoyed this video. Comment to let me know which of these was your favorite, which do you have, which do you plan on getting, which do you hate. I'm very excited that you were here to watch this video. Make sure you are subscribed and also thank you for watching, girl. Bye.